Hey guys, Gokusum for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going on to Mount Moon and traveling all the way to Cerulean City. Now, before we do that, I'd actually like to show off my Pokemon. I did some level grinding off screen with Robin, so he's from level 3 to level 10, and uh, Light Bulb went up a level while training him. So, that happened, and I also stocked up on a few repels that we'll be using in this cave here. Which I actually recommend doing before you actually go into Mount Moon, because there's a lot of Pokemon you could run into. Um, there's a few Pokemon you can run into, though. Um, there's four to be exact. You can run into Zubat, Geodude, and Paris, and Clefairy. Now, you're going to be finding a lot of Zubats, because it's a 69% chance that you'll find um, Zubats. But if you come over here, TM09 Bullet Seed it can be useful for any of your grass types, so I recommend picking that up. And if you come over here, you can also pick up a Paralyzed Heal, which um, if you run into a Paris, if you don't have Repels, well, if you use a Spore or something, you're able to heal up your Paralysis. Now we're going to fight this Bug Catcher right here, Bug Catcher Kent. He has a Weedle, and since we have Robin now, we actually won't have that much problems with Bug-type Pokemon anymore. Which, it could have been useful at the beginning of the game, right when we started, when we were going through Viridian Forest with all the hardened mons, but um, it doesn't really matter now, because we already went through it. So he's going to bring out this Kakuna here. Uh, he's going to probably use Harden, I would guess. Usually Kakunas and Metapods like doing that, which he does. And we don't... I, I just love having a flying type, because if you don't have something that's super effective against bug types at the beginning of the game, you're just ha going to have so much trouble with that. And it's not really much trouble, I guess, but more so just annoying to actually go through those trainers and how long it takes. So if you come over here, there's actually going to be a lass, and uh, she's going to be carrying a Clefable, which is level 14. And this Clefairy, actually, or not Clefable, I've been saying Clefable, I mean Clefairy. Uh, Clefable is its second evolution, though, after you use a Moonstone on Clefairy. But Clefairy is running uh, Sing here, so... If you don't like having your Pokemon to go to sleep randomly by wild Pokemon or even trainers, make sure you watch out for this Clefairy right here because uh, she can use it and sleeping is kind of annoying in general. You don't like when your Pokemon go to sleep. So if you want to buy some, I don't know, Awakenings or something like that, you definitely can do that. Uh, that's an option, but you don't have many Pokemon in this cave that actually put you to sleep besides that one Clefairy. So, we're gonna take down the Clefairy right there, take down the last, and she's like, I lost? And she's all upset, I'm like, why are you so upset? It's not like that, it's that bad. When you lose, you learn from your mistakes. So, oh, actually guys, I'll actually uh, skip through this trainer, so I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, I'm back, and the reason I actually skipped through that is because I don't have any super effective Pokemon against that scientist uh, Pokemon, and... It was a Voltorb and also a Magnemite, so he was just, he just paralyzed me and then confused me. And it was kind of a kind of a uh, annoying uh, combo to go through. So, if you come over there, you'll get a potion, and if you come over here as well, uh, you'll get a rare candy, which can be pretty useful. I'm gonna save them up though until the end of the game, just because I like using all my rare candies right before the final battle against the Elite Four and the Champion. So anyways, we're going to come up here now and battle this bug catcher, and I don't know why bug catchers are actually in here. Like, I understand you want to get to Cerulean City and all, but you're bug catchers. Do you, do you think this is the best path for you guys? You're not going to find any bugs in a cave. Maybe Paris, but Paris I don't really think is classified as a bug. I think it's a bug, but it's more so like a crab or something like that. Fungus. So we're just going to keep using Peck here, take out this bug catcher, and oh, I thought I was going to one-shot him, but I guess not. I'm um, just going to go for a Harden right here. It doesn't really matter, because he is dead next turn with this Peck from our Robin. And Robin's actually leveling up quite nicely. I like how fast he's going up. With all the, these bug catchers in here, Robin isn't having that much trouble catching up to our Ivysaur here. So he's going to send out a Caterpie, level 10. Uh, this should be the last Pokemon. You guys shouldn't have that much trouble with these trainers, mostly if you have super effective Pokemon against the Pokemon that these trainers are running, so yeah, it's not that hard of a cave to go through. There's harder ones in this game, that's for sure, like Rock Tunnel, which you actually need Flash technically to get through, but it's not really like important. So anyways, if you come up here, you'll be able to grab an Escape Rope, and the Escape Rope can actually come in handy 
Uh, this isn't a trainer over here, so don't even bother fighting him. But we're gonna fight this last right here. And, uh... She isn't too hard to battle. She only has an Oddish and a Bellsprout, so our Robin should be able to take her out in two shots. But anyways, back on the escape rope thing. Um, if you have an escape rope, it's kind of useful in this cave, because if your Pokemon are about to die, and you don't have potions or anything, instead of just running through random encounters like uh, wild Pokemon and trying to kill off your Pokemon just so you don't have to run all the way back through the cave. Um, yeah, you could just use the escape rope and make it back to the beginning. You will have to go through the cave again. Uh, that's the only downside, but it's worth it because you'll be able to stock up on repels and also some more potions. So we're going to fight this uh, Bellsprout right here. Take it out like we did to that Oddish just a few seconds ago and we're going to one-shot it. And Robin, again, leveling up pretty fast, already level 15, went up two levels so far, and we're not even, like, halfway through the cave yet. Um, I actually might split this whole cave thing up into two parts. I won't, like, make an intro in between, I'll just, like... Okay, guys, I'm back, sorry, I have to actually put another repel up, but... I don't know if I... Yeah, like I was saying before, I'll probably split this up into two parts. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually make an intro in between those two parts, I think I'll just cut the video and then, like make two videos of the whole recording but we're gonna fight this youngster right here and i don't know why there's youngsters in this cave same thing with uh bug catchers but youngsters it's like if you're 70 years old or something wouldn't you be scared of um a dark cave because i know i would be if i was seven mostly if i only had a rattata to protect me like a mouse protecting you from bats and fungus and a creepy pink thing that's gonna put you to sleep like that sounds terrifying but he's gonna send out another Rattata this trainer has a few Pokemon he has two Rattatas which are level 10 then also a level 10 Zubat it's not that hard to actually deal with it so if you have a pretty decently strong Pokemon like us our Robin you should be able to uh, one shot these Pokemon or two shot them I don't think Robin will actually two shot the Zubat here no he's not he's gonna go for a leech life that's fine gonna lose some HP but um, it's not like he's gonna gain that much back himself because he's only gonna gain one because he only did I think he only did 1% to us which is actually quite funny but we're gonna defeat the youngster right here youngster Josh and this trainer is upset all the trainers in this cave always are so mad that they lost did we just like run past I wonder if you actually have to talk to him but if you come up here you'll be able to get a moonstone which actually will come in handy later on in my walkthrough because I'm actually gonna you shocked me <laughs> Oh, you're just a kid. I'm just a kid, man. It's fine. I'm not that scary. But yeah, I'm going to be using the Moonstone later on in the, the walkthrough to get a Pokemon that I actually want. Uh, no, it's not going to be a Jigglypuff or Clefairy, so... You guys could probably guess another Pokemon that uses a Moon Rock. It was actually on... Well, I think... I don't think you can catch the Pokemon I exactly want, but you can catch its other... Um... Counterpart, I guess you could say on that route before Mount Moon, but we didn't catch it because I want to, the other type of, I don't want exact, I, I'm trying not to say the Pokemon because I want it to be somewhat of a surprise because I don't want to show off my whole team at the beginning of the game and then you guys aren't surprised as to what I get. But we're going to switch in my Ivysaur right here and uh, take out these Geodudes. I don't think it's really worth staying in with our Robin there and just keep pecking because he's going to be using defense curl and we won't be able to take him out in one shot. So, um, by the way guys, I, I don't think I said this earlier. I think actually I did when we fought that scientist, my Ivysaur actually got paralyzed. So, we won't be able to go first anymore. It doesn't really matter though because I'm only going to be using our Ivysaur or my Ivysaur for um, like hikers and stuff and things I think Ivysaur would be able to one shot. I don't think I'll be using him that much in this cave, just because he is already level 19, and we still kind of need our uh, Robin to get up to maybe not an equal level to our Ivysaur, but somewhat same. So we're gonna take out this Onyx in one shot. That's nice, and our Bulbasaur is gonna or Ivysaur. I keep saying Bulbasaur. I need to get used to saying Ivysaur, but he's gonna go up to level 20 here. Hiker Marcus is gonna go down, and we're gonna get 360 dollars. So let's go down this little, actually, before we actually do this, there's another ladder over here that I, I'd actually like to go down. Um, it's an optional area, you don't actually need to go into it. But, 
we're gonna fight this rocket grunt and you'll actually find that there's a lot of rocket grunts in this Mount Moon here um, they're trying to do something I don't exactly know their plans 100% I don't know the story behind Team Rocket but they're trying to take over the world and stuff and um, I don't know what their business is really with Mount Moon but we're gonna take them out nevertheless um, they're only gonna be running Zubats and stuff like uh, Zubat um, Rattatas as well and then also Coughings so it shouldn't be too hard Robin's gonna go up to level 16 though and uh, we're gonna take on an Ekans they also run Ekans as well that's really it though so he's gonna go for an Intimidate here and Ekans isn't really a strong Pokemon the only thing he really has going for him is Intimidate so we're just gonna keep pecking him right here he's gonna go for a Leer doesn't really matter Again, we do outspeed, and we actually should be able... No, he's going to live with 1 HP, actually. We got a low roll, I think, but it doesn't really matter because Peck is going to take him out this turn. And I think that might be the loss of his Pokemon. Yes, it is. The Rocket Grunt's going to go down. I think he said you're so good. I don't know if he said that or not, but that's what I read from that a little split second that I saw the dialogue. But if you come over here, you'll be able to get TM. 46 thief and I think we actually ran out of repels so I'm gonna go ahead and put one more on and we'll actually go on to the next part right here